Good day, Curtis. I have to congratulate you on completing your first preach. You have achieved something. You've got an achievement. But yes, you did your first preach and might I say you blew it out of the park. I mean, I'm not familiar with people's preachers, but if I had to choose a preach to listen to, that would be up there because it was really fun to listen to and you, you executed it really, really well. But being part of that audience which was listening to you speak words out of your mouth hole, it made me feel like I was actually you know, doing something productive. Because sometimes when you go through your day, you come to the end of the day and you realise you haven't really done anything. And going to that service, supporting you in your your Christian doing, it was it was a good morning. Even though I am a atheist, it was still fun. Because even though you did slip up once, which I will show the audience. Jesus had the power to rip your jeans. Jeans? Your chains clean off of you. You just need to let him. We're being serious now, guys. Come on, just bring it back in. You handled it really well, and it was it was it was it was really good. Like, yeah, you, you should give yourself a pat on the back for that. But enough about your preach. Even though it was awesome, we need to carry on our conversations. And for a topic, I want to lead back to what I said earlier. You know the whole thing about feeling like you've done something good today, something productive. But I want to support the contrary, because we all have our lazy days. But there is a fine line between having lazy days and being lazy. And this line is very hard to see and it is, it is, it is easy to go into the lazy category. And sometimes you don't intend on going into the lazy category because sometimes you just want to you just want to relax and you have too much time relaxing that you don't want to do anything. You become bone idle, basically. Because when you don't have much to do for a long while and then you finally have something to do, you then find it hard to do that thing because you're so used to doing nothing. I have something which I want to ask of you, Curtis. I want you to bounce off this topic. I want you to give inspiration to the people who might think they're lazy. The people who feel after this video that they fit into the lazy category. I want you to try and give them inspiration to get back into the whole doing things thing thing. Thing. So speak your words of wisdom. I have full faith that you will be able to inspire a lot of people in this. As for Curtis's preach, I will find the audio. Um, it, I think it's uploaded today. If it's not uploaded today, then I think it's Thursday. It began with a T. Um, I'll sync up the audio from the preach which was recorded so that you can have good audio fidelity and I will set up a, 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 a Dropbox link or a Google Drive link so you can watch that. It was a very good preach and yeah, um, Curtis, I'll see you tomorrow.